Brent Slurvin here, Jiu Jitsu fighter. Now it all comes back to a guy who, uh, last time you guys fought, he gave it as good as you got. Did you expect this? I mean, was this all, did you, were you, for, for this term came about, did you always see that it was going to be you and Douglas in the finals, a rematch of the first fight? Yeah, that was kind of always my, my impression, except I would meet him in the finals. Uh, there is other really good guys who's fighting, but I had a feeling. As you're no strangers to each other, I mean, is this weird though? Like doing, like, is he still in the room? Like yeah. you're doing a press conference, he's just hanging out right over there. But no. is, is that is that not weird because you guys are so kind of uh, familiar with each other at this point? Yeah, I don't get too weird about it. I mean, I've done a ton of these kind of things, and Douglas is a pretty uh, laid back kind of guy, so it's it's not that awkward. I mean, we're competitors and professionals. And is what we do, and you get used to it after a while. How's the uh, the, the million dollars that's, that's tacked on the end of this? I mean, has that been any kind of a motivation for you throughout this whole thing, or are you just, you know, the the, the, the stoic kind of Rory that we're, that we're all used to, where you're just like, yeah, it's just part of the thing? Well, I mean, million dollars is motivating, sure, but, um, I mean, the rematch is important, and I think the fight's important. Solid performance. I have to put on my best performance uh, to close out this tournament and to uh, you know to kind of put a stamp on this rivalry since our last fight. That's that's the most important thing for me. Uh, and yeah, the the million dollars. That's really awesome. You know what a blessing that would be. But not focused on that. And the tournament final bout was originally thought of as going to happen in September, uh, you would ask for a little bit extra time. Do you feel like now that you're you're progressing through your camp that that's really going to come into play? Do you feel like that was a good move to, to push it off? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I couldn't imagine doing my training camp through the summer. I mean, I needed some time for my injuries. Um, I had injured my elbow um, in one of the fights and, you know, that was, I had to like go into the second fight with it. and. Um, little cut so I just needed that to heal and then plus the situation in my house you know just like welcoming my new newborn and just getting acquainted with you know getting adjusted to that so I, I really I, it was impossible for me to show up earlier than what we scheduled it. How has the adjustment to fatherhood been going? Well it's my second. Oh it's, it's just uh, adjusting to number two in the house. <laughs> But it's it's awesome, you know. Uh, uh, I'm super blessed. He's a beautiful kid, you know. Uh, super easy going, and uh, just it's just awesome. Uh, praise God, you know. I, I have a daughter, and now I have a son, so nothing's better. What'd you make of his performance in the in the semifinals? Obviously, he had a pretty impressive win back there in May. Both his fights were very impressive. I thought he looked really good in both of them. Yeah, he's doing well. Roy, there's a lot of people who I've talked to, whether it's Eamon Zahavi, Mamie Montreal, they all say, we don't get you, we don't see the, it's other side of you that's more charismatic, that's more down to earth. How much do you think that's affected you with the media? Because we harped on him after a Fitch fight, oh, he doesn't have to fire, he's going to retire, then, you know, all of a sudden he might have to fire back, we're not sure. Who's the real reporter McDonald, I guess? I mean, that's the question I've always wanted to ask. And do we ever see him, or is this basically for you, you separate life from MA, which is business. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to, like, I mean, I feel like I'm pretty laid back in these interviews, but it's hard to, like, be so relaxed. And um, I don't know, I'm not that charismatic when it comes to speaking on, on a microphone. I just kind of answer the questions and I get through it, you know. Um, my passion has always been what uh, we do in the cage. You know, it's, uh, I get to do... I get to express myself more out there. That's just the way I am, you know. But as far as the how I am outside of the cage, you know, I'm just like a normal guy, a family man, and um, that's it. One or two more, I guess. You know, after the go ahead. Thank you. Um, you talked about you know having not the same motivation to hurt somebody. Um, how have you sort of shifted the way you look at competition now to kind of maybe move away from that, maybe more towards? Yeah, sure. Um, well, I, I kind of went into detail with this in a longer interview, but I'll try to keep it short. I mean, 
uh, martial arts was always kind of like, um, uh, kind of, how can I say it, like, almost like, um, I was, it was almost like helping me deal with like the inner turmoil I, I was uh, going through as a youth. So martial arts was uh, kind of a medicine for me. And, uh, you know, having that, you know, kind of anger in me and stuff like that, I was always very, um, it was my outlet. You know, that's how I got it off my back, off my shoulders. And, uh, you know, be, uh, being a new believer in, 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 uh, in Jesus Christ, um, it changed, it changed me, you know, it washed all that away, you know, uh, I'm a new person, all that stuff that I went through in my, as a, as a youth, I don't suffer from it anymore, uh, I have a new, I have a new life, you know, in, in Christ, so, uh, I was kind of juggling in the fight against Fitch, why I'm doing this, like, I was struggling with it. A lot of thoughts were going on while I'm fighting this guy. So uh, it took some time to just, you know, reflect and pray and, you know, realize that, you know, I'm still very passionate about martial arts. I love it. I love to train. I, I, love, the, I love the lifestyle that comes with it. I love to compete. So, you know, that's what my focus on is competing and uh, also using this platform to share my testimony uh, and my faith. With uh, all of these, you know, stories circulating and a lot of fans, there, it's basically uh, a lot of questions about your motivation uh, it, in all your fights moving forward, basically, after the comments, after the Fitch fight. Is that extremely frustrating to have to deal with and ask, answer questions about continually? I'm sure it'll fade away, but I'm used to getting re repeat questions. I think I answered, uh, are you going to fight George for about five years? <laughs> so I got pretty used to it, you know. I mean, uh, it is what it is. Uh, if I keep showing up to the fights and winning fights, I guess uh, that answers your question, right? Sure. If George comes back, will you fight him? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good.